It's called A&G's Treats and Eats. Did mini tacos, mangonadas, shaved ice. We did a fruit roll-up pickle that was featured on TikTok. But this food trailer didn't come easy for the Alcorta family in Lytle. Dollar snow cones, $2 nachos, about as cheap as it can get, but I was out there every day. A hustle and grind for years, Gabe says, <laughs> under a pop-up tent to support his growing family. Come in, get some. Isaiah is four, Alexis eight, and his wife, Abby, is pregnant with their third child. I just thought about my kids. All I've ever done was it for my kids. It makes what happened next especially devastating for the 25-year-old who's the sole provider. We just got a phone call from my family saying that they were in trouble. It was horrible. Everything that he's worked so hard for was just going up in flames within a matter of seconds. Watching it go up in flames, the all the smoke and I'm sorry I don't Gabe is driving home along Highway 90 after an event last month when his truck catches on fire he's unable to unhook the food trailer before the flames spread this is all we've ever known and the trailer is replaceable but he isn't I thought I lost him that brings us to this Cash for Kindness surprise. Rachel Gates secretly nominated the family out, guys. after learning about the fire on social media. She lives in nearby Castroville. I nominated y'all because y'all are a big asset to our community. And to see y'all's truck go up in flame in that trailer just broke my heart. I've known y'all since y'all were little. Y'all went to school with my daughter. My mom taught y'all. and. Y'all mean the world to me, and y'all do so much. Y'all do fundraisers for the schools. Whatever they need y'all, y'all are there to it. So I felt like I needed to nominate y'all. Y'all deserve this plus more. You really do. So I called my friend Ryan here, and I nominated y'all. A little shocked, huh? Put your hand out for me. Here we go. This is your cash for kindness. Thank you. 100, 200. 300, 400, 500. Thank you, man. It means a lot. It means so much to us that we've touched everyone's heart when we think that we didn't. Because before we lost the trailer, we were really contemplating if we were doing what we were supposed to be doing. A renewed faith to rebuild what's been lost with kindness guiding the way. Now, Gabe says he did have insurance, but lacked the proper coverage to replace the food trailer. He's hopeful by selling food under a pop-up tent once again. He'll be able to save up enough for a new one. There's also some fundraisers on the horizon. I'll have that posted with the story online.